All right, YouTube, what's up? This is another Let's Go TV production. So we just came out of Tarrant County's courthouse right now, as you can see right here in the back. We just came from another uh, court docket, um, which I was found guilty of. Uh, being to the simple fact that number one, even in court, I told the judge several times, I am not disputing the fact that I was not speeding. <laughs> I know that I was speeding. I'm guilty of speeding. I told the the um, judge that I was guilty of speeding. My whole entire dispute was the mile per hour part. Now he clocked me, he said at 96 miles an hour, um, but he said I was going well in excess of 96. Um, he said I flew past him traveling over 130, but he was only able to clock me at 96 miles an hour because by the time he caught up to me, I guess I was finally slowing down. And he had clocked me uh, at within 209 feet of, uh, I guess, uh, pulling me over. I went and told the officer, I was being honest with him, and I told him that I was actually racing. I did not know it was a fence that I could be brought to jail behind. So this happened almost a whole year ago. Today is May the 5th, sorry, May the 6th, 2021. Um, and this incident had occurred, let me see real quick. All right, let's see. Oh my God. Now look how close that is. Lord Jesus. All right, so let's see. When was it? All right, so here it goes. So $334 is what's due. That's what I paid. Um, here goes showing that they, on August the 20th, 2020, is when this ticket was issued. Um, there goes another letter just stating when I need to be to court. Um, and then here goes the other letter on October the 2nd where I didn't have to appear in person because we did webcam due to the corona uh, virus. Um, and then uh, here goes the state's motion for continuance because they weren't ready for court um, during this whole ordeal, which was signed on March 15th, 2021. So evidently it wasn't just me that was unprepared. They were unprepared several times. But anyway, so here goes a screenshot of my phone that I'm on right now, which is a Galaxy uh, Z Fold phone. Um, they had to unfold it to go ahead and try to make a copy. Well, the copier, it was coming out very dark like this where you couldn't see nothing. So basically, um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I feel like I got bamboozled. Uh, <laughs> knowing the fact that I was already guilty of the chart, I told them I'm guilty. I know that I was speeding, but I said for them to lodge the fact that they're saying, oh, the rate, the LIDAR gun clocked me at 96 miles per hour. Um, I was trying to rebuttal by saying, well, let me go ahead and see proof of you clocking me at 96 miles an hour um, because uh, as you can see right here, <laughs> I have it set at 85 miles an hour. So I'm basically telling them, so now you're saying that the car is, uh, was traveling faster than what the car can um, ordinarily go um, to its set uh, speed limit. So let me go ahead and pull out the actual ticket. Okay. So here we go. So on my info, yada, 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 whatever. All right, here we go. 96 miles an hour in the 65 uh, mile an hour zone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right on back over there. We're gonna figure out exactly how fast is that speed limit over there in that zone. Because I believe that it's 70 miles an hour. Um, I told them the lowest speed mile an hour I seen is going uh 65 and that's on the toll road over there at edwards ranch which you already know that's where i stay at that's where i live so therefore i feel like this ticket has been unjustified 
Um, I feel like if they would have had the correct mile an hour instead of him just trying to say, hey, uh, we had clocked you going at 132 um, uh, uh, miles an hour, but we only was able to clock you at 96, but not having the evidence um, of them actually clocking me going that fast, I just felt like it was wrong. Now, maybe I messed up. Um, she's trying to say that I was supposed to ask for the state's uh, discovery and all that. And I told them, no, I didn't ask for the discovery due to the fact that they said during the little corona ordeal that everything was uh, different, that it had to been all over um, video. So it was actually captured on the web cam along with like 13 other participants. So I just uh, I don't feel like that was right. Um so anyways they ended up finally telling me that um let me go ahead and put this in the trunk that due to the fact i was going over 24 miles an hour that i do not and am not able to have defensive driving because i was driving too fast so basically it's like this if you're gonna speed you might as well make it worth it so they're saying your speeding ticket can be no less than one dollar and no more than two hundred dollars so that's where it ranges no matter if you're going a million miles an hour which is probably like 240 it doesn't matter what mile per hour here in the state of texas it doesn't matter how fast you're going the most they can ever ticket you for is two hundred dollars the court fee assessed is like 134 so that's the reason why my ticket was 334 dollars which i paid in full whatever i didn't tell them nothing about no payment arrangements or nothing like that i just felt like everything today was um i just felt like i i, I don't know for some other reason sort of like mistreatment because i told them that it's not a regular car you know it's all set up by the app I purchased the car the exact same day that uh, the state of Texas went on lockdown here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Tarrant County. Um, and so therefore, uh, the guy that sold me the car was not able to show me all the features. Well, they sustained the state's uh, motion of evidence and overruled all of my objections, all of And I just don't feel like that's fair. I'm not saying oh, hey, uh, I'm not guilty of, I know that I'm guilty of speeding, but I'm not guilty of the speed limit that they're trying to say because once again, there was no video evidence of them actually clocking me at 96 miles an hour when he's saying it was 132 miles an hour. So I'm sitting over here trying to figure out, well, which one are you guys referring to? Are you referring to the fact that you felt like I was going 32 miles an hour? or on the fact that you clocked me at 96 miles an hour by the time you were trying to pull me over. Which to me, it does not make a difference if you're doing 180 miles an hour compared to if you're doing 96 miles an hour. It's still the exact same consequence. Um, so, you know, uh, I hate to say it, but in other words, uh, yeah, you need to make a run for it and see if you can go ahead and get away. No, I'm just playing. All right, so that's illegal, you know, whatever. But what I was doing was already legal speeding. Um, and I'm taking full responsibility of the speeding part, but just not of how accurate the uh, miles per hour was over the speed limit. So that's what I'm trying to get them to see. That's what I was trying to get the court to see. And I guess it just didn't turn out into my favor. So maybe I'm just in my feelings about it. Um, but at the same time, I'm really not because now this video right here is actually educational. So now everybody knows here in the state of Texas, or at least in the city of Fort Worth, it's $1 at the minimum and two hundred dollars at the maximum of how much they can actually charge you for speeding speeding ticket wise they get they're going to charge you for court fees regardless if you take it to court so you might as well go ahead and take it to court just to see because if the officer doesn't show up um you have the right to face your accusers and they have to automatically dismiss that or they have to ask for a continuance meaning that they have to ask for it to be uh pretty much rescheduled for another date so um that's what they already did it got approved um and so we went, went all the way to today's date and now since i'm out of court i'm sitting over here shooting this video so that way everybody can see and everybody knows exactly how uh things go um with at least speeding here in the city of fort worth so i just uh overall feel like 
Well, you might as well just be speeding all the way because of the simple fact. It doesn't matter how fast you're going. If you're going 24 miles an hour over the speed limit, by law, they say they do not have to offer you defensive driving so it can stay off your record. So my whole entire thing is this. Okay, how can you offer defensive driving for those who are 24 miles an hour and less, but then you are pretty much fighting the fact that the mile per hour was incorrect. It's not making any sense to me. That didn't make any sense at all. So, you know, sorry to put it, but this long drawn out video that I'm making right now um, <laughs> it's just that that's just crazy to me that you you can mess around and say the state does not have to prove how fast you're going. They only have to prove the fact that you were speeding, meaning going more than 65 miles an hour. But then you say you can't offer me defensive driving because I went faster than 24 miles an hour, which 24 under uh, 65 miles an hour will put me right at 89 miles an hour. So they're trying to say I was going 96 miles an hour, but they said they have to give you, I guess, gratitude on five miles an hour, meaning it could be, I could be going 101 miles an hour, or I could have been traveling at 91 miles an hour, but it, it's, it's accurate within five miles an hour. So if I'm at 91 miles an hour and that the, the, the maximum in that zone is 89 miles an hour that put me over the threshold by what two miles an hour or something like that so i think the fact that she didn't want to offer it to me was because i try to present evidence to the uh to the state that look the car only goes 85 miles an hour regardless of what you guys try to say that's how fast it goes period there's no other way to get around that then they try to say oh well we need to bring into kelly law and kelly law has to uh show or uh or you you i as the defendant, I have to show evidence to the state's motion um, the correct way by by Kelly being that it was un, unscientific fact of my evidence. I was like, what in the world does that even mean? I don't even know what in the world that means. Can somebody please explain this to me in layman terms so that way I know. And basically, it's like this. I would have to hire a professional who pretty much, I guess, created the Tesla app or a professional, um, like, I guess, Tesla company themselves, where they could go ahead and justify that, yes, the vehicle can only travel 85 miles an hour. Then they were trying to say, oh, well, they don't know on what date it is and all that. To me, it's like this. If you already have the evidence, you have proof. Why don't you just show it to make things be simple and plain? So that way I know, so that way they know, so that way everybody can go on with life. Um, or maybe I shouldn't have been trying to fight it. Maybe I should have just been like, look, I know I was going faster than 65 miles an hour, even though it's like a 70 miles an hour zone. I was still traveling faster than 70. Um, but the thing is now, you know, it is what it is. But here it goes, right? So once you're over here, you know, you'll be able to do all this different stuff, suspension, driving, all that. Uh, you could turn on the creep mode where the car keeps creeping and everything else so you know the car is very sophisticated as everybody else is and i said that you know they need to go ahead and build them a system where people who have these type of vehicles um can uh be uh i guess uh in a fair trial um and not feel like they're being bamboozled without having to go out there and go hire a professional to, I guess, litigate the facts uh, of what I'm trying to explain when it's just plain and simple. Look, here goes the app. This is exactly how fast I can travel. Uh, you guys are saying I was doing more than how fast I can travel. So I just want to see video evidence of it so that way I can take it to Tesla and let them know, hey, there's something wrong with the vehicle. But of course, they didn't do that. And of course, I didn't get that information. So to me, it is what it is upon this situation. I just felt like, hey, I got screwed out of $334, but I know that I'm plenty guilty of speeding because I speed 
damn near almost everywhere. I hear just recently started to slow down, maybe like a month ago, um, due to the fact that I was just uh, <laughs> conserving so much energy by trying to travel at such a high rate of speed. So, um, you know, so everything is now explained. Uh, oh yeah, and then one other part was, so they say that the left lane is uh, you're here and it's supposed to be state law. The left lane is for passing only. You're not supposed to be in the left lane going slow. So why they don't pull people over for that, I have no idea. It's not like I'm sitting over here trying to uh, snitch on somebody or nothing like that. But I mean, come on. You see, I, look at all that. You see how many cars is over there in the left hand lane, right? So evidently the rules is not being enforced, nor do they have that posted until you get way out far, way, and I mean way out far, unlike the two lane country highway where then post left lane is for passing only. So he said I was in lane number two. It's about to open up just a little bit. Um, so lane number two, oh, and by the way, I set it at 62 miles an hour in order to conserve uh, kilowatt battery usage. So that way I'm staying relatively below 30 kilowatts per hour. Uh, anyways, so as you can see, the freeway is now opening up. We got lane number one, two, three, and this is number four that I'm in. So number one is always the fastest, the furthest, the one on the left-hand side. So he was saying I was traveling in lane number two, which would be that lane right there. Uh, then I got over to lane number one after I had one on the past him. Reason being I was in lane number two was because he is a DWI officer, okay? So he is not in the regular black and white police car with the lights on there. No, he is in the murdered out black Dodge Charger with the black stickers on it, with the lights that are built into the sun visor right here and all kinds of crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? So he was very incognito, number one. You know, uh, number two, I should have just kept pushing it. I don't know why the hell I chose to, to slow down since I seen his lights come on and everything else. What the hell I was thinking, I have no idea. But here we go, 60 miles an hour. So you see that they just changed that. Look at the outline of 60 miles an hour, all right? That just recently got changed. Um, I don't know when, but I know when I first moved over here in October, that was not like that. Uh, so anyways, so basically uh, you could travel up to 10% over the speed limit. If it's 60, you can do 66. The moment you hit 67, you, I mean, you can get pulled over for anything, but one thing you can't go to jail for, you cannot, here in the state of Texas, you cannot go to jail for speeding. You could go to jail for any other given reason in the state of Texas. If you cuss, if you spit, if you uh, pretty much look black or white or red or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can go to jail for everything except for speeding. You cannot go to jail for speeding. You can go to jail for unsafe driving, but you cannot go to jail for speeding, period. All right, that's facts. Um, here goes Edward Ranch, like I was trying to tell them in court. Clear for it. All right, so... There you have it, everything is laid out. I mean, it is what it is. I took it to court, I lost. Maybe I'm in my feelings about losing because it's not like I didn't, I'm not trying to say I didn't want to get out of it because I know I'm guilty of doing it because I'm always doing it. Um, but I'm in my blue Tesla as you can see on the hood, not the red one. So that's another reason why I don't even drive the red one is because I have been pulled over several times in that vehicle and it is definitely true red does stick out like a sore thumb um it, it's just like an automatic oh hey you're automatically speaking no no uh no matter what's going on you're speeding um so i get it i mean yeah it is what it is um you know i just sort of felt salty a little bit too because you know he was like oh well a tesla when the last guy before me they never stated what type of car that the person was in but just due to the fact i think that i was in court um because of course he got to say something first 
you know, he was like, you know, uh, people who are in these fancier cars and these cars that cost over 100000 they just feel like they can take the law into their own hands and yada, yada, yada. Okay, number one, that was unnecessary to say because I wasn't trying to say that I'm taking the law into my own hands. What I was basically trying to get at was a simple fact of I didn't felt, I do not feel like it is justified on them trying to say I was going 132, but then he actually clocked me at 96 miles an hour, but then my car saying, oh, what well, drives 85 miles an hour. So you know what I'm saying? It was too inconsistent. There was a lot of inconsistencies that the state had versus what I had. Um, I had proof. All they had was just a piece of paper stating that I was going this fast and him stating, um, you know, underneath oath or whatever. Yeah, uh, he was traveling 132. Um, by the time I caught up to him, he was going 96. So, um, you know, well, whatever. Uh, conclusion is this. All right. If you're going to speed, speed somewhere where you could be going at a very high rate of speed. Um, so that way you can't get pulled over. If they ever turn on their uh, lights, you might as well make a run for it. You might as well. Uh, it is a felony to flee, though. It's like a state jail felony. In a vehicle, it's a state jail felony. Um, which you can serve all the way up to two years in state jail. Uh, penitentiary. Um, but, they gotta catch you, though. You know, and there's plenty of ways for them to catch you, but I know that is one thing that they have to do. They physically have to pull you over, call it in, do whatever. So if you're traveling at 132, there's no way they're going to be able to catch up to you as long as you remain going 132 miles an hour, um, which I did not do. I slowed down like an idiot to try to exit because I was trying to maneuver through the, through all the traffic and everything else, and then he was in that black murdered out one. He didn't even hit the lights until he got very close up to me because I did not see him coming out. Best believe if I would have seen him um, coming coming out from uh, the area of where, where we was in, Best believe I would have kept on going, so I didn't even notice it until, like, pretty much almost last minute um, of him clocking me within 209 feet of me uh, going 96 miles an hour. So that means he was hauling ass, too, as well. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to probably keep on saying that for the next couple of days, only due to the fact that this is about to go on my driving record. It's about to mess up my car insurance and all kinds of other crazy stuff. I just wanted them to just try to do away with the ticket. I don't mind paying the fee. I don't mind even paying the fine because I did the exact same thing just here in Keller um, uh, last year when I was speeding in Keller, going way over 24 miles an hour. And I mean way. I mean like the speed zone was like 40 or something, and they had me clocked at 79. Um, so I know that I was doing some dangerous stuff, uh, but this car has regenerative braking, but I know that's no excuse. But I just wanted to say that since it does have these uh, features that other cars do not have, um, it, it's more safer for me. But yet I'm making it unsafe for others, I guess, in their eyesight. Um, but pretty much like the judge said, stay out of the left lane then. Let everybody who is traveling at a fast rate of speed be in the left lane and we can just keep it gangsting. Keep it simple, just like that. Stay out of the left lane. Unless you're traveling fast as hell or passing somebody, stay out of there. Just And they need to enforce that. They need to come up with commercials, advertising, and everything else. So that way people know. And so that way, you know, every, it'll be fair across the border. Um, so that way nobody feels like they're being picked on, such as me. Um, but I was just going too, too fast. That's just what it is. Um, another reason, case in point, of why my Jag is just sitting here collecting dust. Now that is a monster. He ain't never gonna catch me in that. Trust and believe. I know it because I got video evidence proof of me traveling 163 miles an hour and the police trying to catch me and I'm just like speeding, not even pulling over. So I don't know how far I need to say that on YouTube. Maybe I need to bleep some of that out, but uh, most definitely that is the car y'all looking for. It's just been sitting. I slightly been scared to try to drive it because I know what I did that day during daylight. But hey, 
I had got away with it. Now, I don't know if this, I mean, you know, because I, I guess the state got to ask for discovery and to see, you know, if it will be uh, admissible in court and everything else. Because they definitely said that my evidence was at, uh, meaning that they did not have to use it, um, which was just confusing within itself. I, why would you ask me for evidence? I give you the evidence, you Xerox it, and then you say, oh, it's too black, we can't do it. I have to go out there outside again, uh, turn on the Wi-Fi, do a screenshot. Then I had to email it to her. Then even after she got the email, she printed it out. That's the sheet that you, you all had seen. And yet they still couldn't use that either. So I was like, so I asked her, what was the point of me doing all this? She tries to say, well, I didn't present things correctly. And um, her being a judge, she doesn't have to tell me how to do things correctly. Well, I didn't know that I was here in a uh, uh, trial. You know, I didn't do trial by judge or nothing like that. I asked her, is this trial? And she said, no, it's like a bench hearing. So why are you trying to act like or try to present the fact that it's a trial? Because you never asked me if I want trial by judge or by jury. So now I'm even more confused. Because when you guys asked me at first, are you guilty or not guilty or no contest? I said that I'm not guilty because I want to take it to court. But when I'm in court, I tell them that I am guilty of speeding. I'm just not guilty of going that certain mile per hour, 96 miles an hour. If I am, I would like to see video evidence of me doing over or at 96 miles an hour. That's all that I'm stating, period. It's that simple. You guys couldn't provide that information. So I felt like the ticket should have really honestly got thrown out if you guys couldn't provide it. But if you're signing and say that, oh, I had time to file uh, a motion for the state's discovery. Well, who is supposed to know that? That I was supposed to file that motion for the state's discovery if you guys were setting it up for to see, you know, I guess like I'm thinking that I'm coming for them to ask me like preliminary hearing. That's what I'm thinking, a preliminary hearing. But evidently I was, I was in court, bench trial, whatever that is, whatever. It's all right. Eventually I'll get over it. I try to just make a 30 minute video or whatever. It looks like I'm still lapsed by three whole minutes. So um, that's, that's just what we got. I already made it back here to the house. So um, I'm not even really too much worried about it. It's paid for. That's the good part. Nobody got hurt. That's the even better part. I did uh, congratulate him and I went on and said that he did an awesome job by um, pulling me over because I did not see him. He was incognito. So maybe it had a lot to do with what I was saying as well, um, being the fact that I wasn't really trying to represent the fact that I was not guilty. I was just trying to represent the fact that I was not guilty of that certain mile per hour and I just wanted proof of it. And I, once again, gave nothing but recommendation and shout out to him and by saying he did an awesome job. Um, he was very polite. He was very understanding uh, to the situation. He was understanding to the situation because he was trying to inform me that he could take me to jail for racing because I did tell him, hey, I was over here racing um, another vehicle. Uh, why y'all chose to pull me over? I have no idea compared to other vehicle that um, I have no idea. I don't know. It was probably because he had exited faster than I did because I'm not knowing that I'm being chased. So um, it is what it is. <laughs> once again but thanks y'all uh, another let's go tv production is on deck don't forget we got cable as well 3434 channels 90,000 movies and 2000 tv shows all being brought to you by let's go tv that's our sponsor right there um we also have it right there in the very front of the car you already know where the engine goes just in case you guys were wondering well what in the world was that for everybody who is just now viewing my youtube for the first time um, that's exactly what that was and or it show you yeah so there goes the TV right here you know you got your little fire stick remote oh no sorry um, you know I got I usually have a fire stick remote right here and then the TV right here. And then, of course, you can pull it up on the stand, as you can see right there, and all kinds of crazy stuff. But, anyways, it is what it is. Thank y'all for appreciate it. Um, uh, I'm, not, I'm not here to make money from YouTube like maybe other people may do. That's their business, whatever. Uh, it does take time. It does take a lot of patience and a lot of effort to create these videos. 
So that's the only reason why I say it. If you want to support the cause or movement, I don't care if you subscribe, like, share, all that other stuff. That, that don't, Look, I'm, I make money regardless. I'm not here for that. Um, but if you do want to support the movement, I do ask that if only uh, everybody just pitches in a dollar a month, $12 a year, that will go ahead and help out the funds with creating these videos, getting more phones or, you know, just different kinds of stuff to help and to support the movement. Um, but once again, uh, y'all stay tuned. You can get this cable anywhere here in the U.S., anywhere, all 50 states. All you need is just pretty much internet. You can also have it on your phone as a mobile device. So it's a great tool, great feature, great thing to have. Right now, they just started a $150 activation and a flat $90 per month that includes your taxes at 8.25% plus uh, your 3% surcharge, equaling 11.25%. Um, so your bill before tax is like 81 something, after tax is exactly $90. So let's go.